Okay. All right. I think we're about done. All I have to do is score these last ships and then score a few bonus points. And that'll be it. I think I got you. Whatever. Okay. All right. So that will get me that and a point. And ooh, you're going to get all that. And then you're going to get 10, 20, 2. All right. All right. I'm up at one point. Dummy player way out of it. So dumb. Okay. Bonus points. Gray buildings. I don't have any. And then one point for every 15 gold. I got one. And you'll get one, two, three. And you won by one point. Cool. Yeah. I just need to pick the game up. Okay. Uh, okay. I just we just need to clean up the game. And uh, okay. Well, thanks for playing with me. Wait. What are you doing? You can't just throw it in. No, just you have. It has to be organized. Just. Set it down, leave it. I'll do it. Just let me do it. Just go. So if you look at this game, it gave us some big bags that like the boards would fit in and the punch outs and then a small bag for just the pieces and they would just fit down in there and then the cards there and it's just a mess. There's no organization. So we are going to try and fix that. I have my game box here, my new custom insert right here. So let's take a look. As I measured this, I noticed that the instruction manual and the personal player boards were about the same size but they were smaller than the actual game board and it is actually smaller than the box which meant it was not going to fit perfectly on top of the custom box insert so I decided instead to do something a little different with this one I have an indention here and these walls are indented so that the player boards and manual can sit right on top and have plenty of room. Now I can set the game board on top and it'll fit down inside of the custom insert. And by notching this one wall here it now has enough room that it will not push too heavily on this and try to bend the box. Now we're going to put the insert into the box and have a look. We have my box insert set up, ready to go. I've started putting in the individual player color pieces here in these compartments. There are not many pieces, and you may not use all of them every game, even for your own player chosen color. So I've decided to just slide them in there rather than have individual pull-out boxes. Then, by just using a little bit of standard art paint, I decided to make a few alterations to the red and green pieces so that they are easily distinguishable even for colorblind people and then these can just go in here these pieces will be used in every game no matter the number of player count we have some wall tiles and some public building tiles we'll just set those in here for now we have ships these are double sided We'll just set those here. Those will be used in every game, no matter the number of player counts. And then these are contracts. People looking to book passage on ships or goods to be shipped. These will be used every game, so just put those there. And then we have the market tiles, showing the value of the different goods at different points in the game. They gave us a little baggie to put those in. We're just going to set that aside and put that here. 
Now I'm going to gather up some of the other uh, buildings and show you what I thought to do with them. Here are some more of the building tiles for this game. With each color, in this case yellow, we have three rows of identical buildings. This row will be used in all games of all player counts, two or more players. Then in a three or four player game, you would add this row. And then in a five player game, you would add this row. You would repeat the process for the green. With the red buildings, you would use the top row in all player counts. And then in a three or more player game, add the next row to the game. I have three individual compartments here. The tiles would be a little loose in there but they would be sorted by individual player count. So all you'd have to do is reach in and pull out the tiles that you would need. I also have this insert, individual compartments for all the goods, and individual compartments for all the money. Easily sort it, lift it out, and set it right next to the game board ready to play. Let's get the rest of these tiles in there and see what it looks like. So we went from this simple insert to this. I even have enough room for that all-important Fantasy Flight Proof of Purchase. We'll just save it right there. I can set my manual and individual player boards there. My game board will sit right on top and everything fits nice and snug. I hope that get you motivated to try something like that on your own for your games. So, hey, I I got my new insert done, and we know how to play. Now, you want to play again? Why? Do you want to lose again? No. Thanks a lot. And thank you for watching. And remember, stay bored. You're still a dork. <laughs>